Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are from A4 CS 1111B Group 4. Today, we would like to talk about application of differentiation analysis of function 1. Before we start, let's get to know us. Of function 1. What is that? Let me explain to you. Analysis of function 1. We know it as a polynomial function. It is involved only non negative integer power of x or only positive integer exponents of a variable in an equation, such as a quadratic, a quartic, a cubic. And so on. Let me share with you the steps to answer the polynomial question. First, you must find the x intercept by y equal to 0 and y intercept x equal to 0. Second, find the interval is increasing or decreasing. Differentiate fx to f prime x, then find the critical point f prime x equal to zero to get the maximum point. Maximum point consists of maximum point and minimum point. Find the interval is concave up or concave down. Differentiate the f x twice, get the value of x and test using table of interval. Inflection points is a concavity of function change. And the last one, sketch the graph using the information of x intercept, y intercept, maximum point, minimum point, inflection point, concavity down and concavity up. So, for the example of polynomial equation, they give us fx equal to 8x cubed minus 48x square plus 72x. A. Find the x intercept and y intercept. B. Find the intervals where f is increasing or decreasing. Hence, determine the relative extremum of f if any. C. Find the intervals where f is concave up or concave down, hence determine the inflection point of f if any. And the last one, sketch the graph of f using the above information. Now, let's start. Question A. Find the x-intercept and y-intercept. First step is we will find x-intercept. How to find x-intercept? To find x-intercept is we should let y equal to 0. We take the equation and equal to 0. Then, we will solve the equation to get the value of x-intercept. The x-intercept value are x equal to 0 and x equal to 3. Lastly, what we will do is write the value in the form coordinate. First, 0, 0 and second 3 0 second step is we will find y intercept to find y intercept we will use the same method as the way to find x intercept we should let x equal to 0 we take the equation and substitute the value of x with 0 and we will get the answer y equal to 0 Lastly, what we will do is write the value in the form coordinate that is 0, 0. Question B. Find the intervals where f is increasing or decreasing. Hence, determine the relative extremum of f if any. First step is we will find critical value. To find critical value, we need to differentiate the equation. After we differentiate, 
we will use the equation n equal to 0. We will solve the equation and get the critical value. The critical values are s equal to 3 and x equal to 1. Next step is to find critical points. We will use the critical value s equal to 3, x equal to 1 and original function to find the critical point. Firstly, when x equal to 3, we will substitute the value of x with 3 into the original function and we will get y equal to 0. The coordinate is 3, 0. Secondly, when s equal to 1, we will substitute the value of s with 1 into the original function and we will get y equal to 32. And the coordinate is 1, 32. Last step is increasing or decreasing. To draw the interval table, we should know the position value of x in the real number line 1 is smaller than 3. So, 1 at the left and 3 at the right. Then, we will move to the table. First row is interval notation. Second row is inequality notation. It's easy to write the inequality notation first because we know at the left it x smaller than 1, at the right x bigger than 3. The middle, we will combine the value of 3 bigger than x and x bigger than 1. For interval notation, we will write in the bracket. At the left is in negative infinity 1, at the right 3 infinity and the middle 1, 3. Third row is number of chosen. For x smaller than 1, we will take the number that is smaller than 1 that is 0. The middle will take the number between 1 and 3 that is 2. And for x bigger than 3, we take the number 4. Then we will substitute the number into the derivative function. We will not take the value but we will take the sign of the value that we get. For the sign, we will use the sign of value we get just now. Next row is slope. If the sign is positive, the slope increase. If sign negative, the slope is decreasing. Lastly, we will know the interval that maximum and minimum because the slope that increasing will use as maximum point and the slope decreasing use as minimum point. This is where function increasing or decreasing and as minimum point. For increasing or decreasing, we will refer to the interval table and take the interval notation for the answer. Interval function increasing are negative infinity 1 and 3 infinity. Interval function decreasing 1, 3. For the decimal point, we will refer to the interval table and critical point that we had calculated. Maximum point is 132, minimum point 30. Find the intervals where f is concave up or concave down. Hence, determine the inflection point of f, if any. The first step is inflection value. To get the inflection value, we need to find the second derivative of fx and equal it to the zero. Then, we can solve it as usual to find the value of x. So for this question, the inflection value is the second x step is equal to inflection two. point. To get the inflection point, we need to find the coordinate of x and y first. Based on the previous step, we have get the coordinate of x, which is 2. So for this time, we need to get the coordinate of y. To get the coordinate of y, we need to substitute the value of x into the original function. So, when we solve it, we will get the value of y. So, the inflection point that we will get is the coordinate 216.
The third step is concavity. To make it easier, we can do it in a box. On the first row is interval notation. To find the interval notation, we need to look at the value of x in a real line number. So, we will get the coordinate negative infinite 2 and 2 infinite. Then, the second row. The second row is to find the inequality notation. To find the inequality notation, we need to find the number lower than 2 and the number bigger than 2. When we have choose our number, we, we write it in the next row. So, based on this question, I choose number 1 for the smaller number and number 3 for the biggest number. For the fourth row, we need to substitute number that we choose into the second derivative of fx. To find either the value we get is negative or positive. So on the last row, we will get to draw the concavity based on our value. We can conclude that if the value we get is negative, so the concave will go downward. Well, if it is positive, the concave will go upward. So, when we write the conclusion, we will write it as interval fx concave up in the coordinate to infinite. Well, the interval fx concave down is negative infinite 2. The inflection point is in coordinate 216. Sketch the graph of f using the above information. To make it easier for plotting the graph, we need to list down all the values of x-intercept, y-intercept, maximum point, inflection point, and minimum point. And then, when we want to sketch the graph, we need to follow the orders of the concavity. So for this question, the first concave is concave downward. So we need to sketch the concave downward first and then the concave upward. So it will turn out just like this.